Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the brand new Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro. It's the latest scooter from Xiaomi that not only gives us a bigger body, a much higher weight capacity, but also gives us a powerful engine that gives us the ability of going up the hills and of course, last but not least, a comfortable ride because we have a lot of updates done here to this scooter. This TK, let me share with you guys my experience after checking out and using the Scooter 4 Pro from Xiaomi. Now, before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. And as far as the unboxing, straightforward experience here. Everything is pretty much assembled in the box. And the only thing you probably need to do is take out the scooter and of course, take it out of the plastic bag and just uh, basically screw on the, st the steering handle because that is connected, but it's just not screwed on. They do provide us an Allen wrench with some screws to be able to put it on. And the only tip I would probably say is make sure that the flashlight is facing away from you and then you'll know exactly which orientation it needs to be in. And that was pretty much it. They include the charger in there. It is a magnetic clip, so you can actually just magnetically put it on and of course use it to charge up your, uh, your basically your, your scooter. Uh, but the one thing I will probably say is the unit that I received did come with a U, uh, with a U, EU plug. So you just need to have either a converter or if you have maybe a uh, similar cable from other accessories that you bought in the past, you can just swap it up directly into the brick. Um, charging it up pretty much is obviously required for first usage. And of course, setting it up is going to be the other thing. I did set it up using the Mi application. And of course, there was an update coming through that went through and updated the scooter. So all of that was pretty much straightforward. I logged in with my account. I paired the scooter. I was able to use it and it was pretty much ready to go right there. Um, I'll say this connection to the scooter is needing to be actually over Bluetooth. So there is no key fob. So there's one thing to keep in mind. I know some of the other scooters on the market do have that. But for the Mi scooter, for the most part, you're getting literally the latest and greatest from Xiaomi with a lot of optimizations and updates. And I'll say one thing. This is one of the most comfortable scooters I've had I've used for long rides. And I'm talking about like 35, 40 minute rides, about four to five miles at a time. And I come back home and my knees are not hurting. And I'll explain to you what I mean. It's part of the upgrades that they've done here on this scooter is that they focus on a much bigger, uh, not only higher weight limit, but also a much more comfortable ride. So as far as speed and range, uh, it's rated to go about 25 kilometers and up to 45 kilometers as far as distance. So 25 kilometers of speed, uh, basically per hour. And of course, uh, the ability of going up to 45, which translates roughly to about 15 miles and of course about 28 miles as far as the range. For me, it's been absolutely an amazing thing. For us here where I live, we have access to little pathways between homes that allow me to actually go between one part to the other part of town without ever actually walking on a street. So all of this stuff is done off road as I'm showing you guys. And it really worked very nicely. Um, I did a couple of runs with it uh, overall. And I think for the most part, it's about 30 to 40, 35 minutes each one without any problem, uh, went through very nicely. You're able to customize a few things on the ride itself, but the overall experience is very straightforward. Uh, the customizations that we have in here are all is within the application. You can customize the regenerative brake from basically uh, different configurations from the speed acceleration from either just normal to sport mode. And the other thing that I wanted to focus on here is the comfort and the, ba the configuration that we have in here. As far as the tire configuration that we have here, we have a 10 inch tubeless self-sealing tire and of course a lightweight aerospace grade aluminum body, which allows it to be not so heavy, even though it's technically bigger than some of the other options that we've seen from them before. Uh, as far as the actual size and comfort in riding, the suspension here is very nice. As far as the braking, we have rear and front braking configuration to allow us to have more control over this. And then at the end of the day, when you're riding it, you're not going to feel uh, the consistent bumps. Now it is gonna obviously shake. This is a scooter, you're gonna be going on roads. And the biggest thing that I will say is after riding it for 35, 40 minutes at a time, I did not come back home with my knees feeling the pain. And this is something that I've noticed with other scooters uh, before. Now that could be partially part of my age and of course uh, knee issues being a thing within my family, but the higher weight capacity here, the ability of going up to about 260 pounds is something that helps with uh, just your average Joe to be able to actually get something that's powerful enough to handle somebody of that size, but also still be able to do up to like 20, uh, 20 degree inclines and be able to handle them with ease. And for me, I honestly will say this, not one thing have I been able to put at it that basically stumbled uh, the Scooter 4 Pro. I was able to ride on it, enjoy it. Configuration was pretty straightforward. As I mentioned, there was an update that came in right away at the beginning. Um, ride is very, very nice 
nice. Uh, the actual configuration, one thing I will say is when you bring in the actual boom or the arm down to be able to carry it, you need to know that the bell that's on there is where the clip is for you to be able to actually clip it to the back or right above the rear tire to be able to carry it by hand. And of course, this was something new to me since I haven't had a chance to experience other Xiaomi scooters in the past. Now, as far as the button that we have on here is a single press and hold will turn on the scooter or turn it off. If I single press and release right away, the flashlight turns on and turns off. If I double press it real quick, it changes the driving mode on the scooter. Now, as far as the regenerative power, as far as the brakes themselves, you are only able to configure that directly within the app, but there is also three different settings there. Uh, firmware update, configuration, and of course, cruise control, all of that can be controlled directly within the app. And you can also see basically the miles, the range, as well as the battery health as far as overall usage. This is still pretty new, so there really wasn't much to actually give there. And as you guys can see there, it looks really nice. The overall experience at the end of the day is this is a very comfortable scooter. It has large uh, 10 inch tires and a nice long brain, uh, basically width on the center where it allows you to actually stand very comfortably. It is intended for one person and one person at a time. So please don't try to do a dual rider there. Make sure you wear the right safety gear. And of course, just enjoy it. Um, the thing I would probably say is as far as the battery charging, it's not the fastest, but it's still pretty decent as long as you put it in overnight. The next morning you come in, it's ready to go. It does have a very nice long range, as I mentioned, about 28 miles and the speed is not exactly the fastest on the market but I feel like it was pretty comfortable enough that even on a nice warm day that we have here in Southern California I wasn't actually feeling the heat as much because the air was flowing straight and it basically cooled me as I was riding it uh, but again at the end of the day make sure you wear the right gear uh, overall I want to say thank you very much to Xiaomi for allowing me to check out the Xiaomi scooter 4 pro it definitely is more of an upgrade from the scooter 2 pro not the 3 which is what I've seen on the market so far but at the end of the day for me if you're looking to get a scooter that's comfortable that's easy to set up and also provide you the range and the speed and the weight capacity that I feel like not every scooter does the Xiaomi you know this is definitely one of the biggest thing I'm not going to say I'm one of the skinniest guys on the market but I was definitely very happy to see that the weight limit on this was much higher than where I was so it made me feel a little bit more comfortable going on and enjoying my time and of course if you want to end up basically carrying something you have a backpack with there you have a little bit of that window above your weight limit so that you're not necessarily pushing the system to its limits as far as the inclines, not a problem. And again, a very nice, comfortable ride. So I definitely would recommend this to anybody looking to pick up a Xiaomi Pro. Well, a Xiaomi scooter, definitely this is one of the best experiences. Uh, and again, one of the best that I've experienced, even with the other scooters that I've tested in the past. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro. And of course, which scooter do you guys like? I'll see you in the next video.